Hello everyone and welcome back to another behind the scenes production vlog on Wrath of the Empire and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at the colour grade on our trailer. So without further ado, let's jump straight on in. Okay guys, so this is the footage I have been sent from the colour grader and I'm going to attempt to break it down uh, as best as I can for you. I'm not a professional colour grader, I do sort of know what is going on. Uh, not to the same extent obviously as this guy does, but we'll try anyway. So this is just the settings he's used. Um, we've got the input device and then the output. Of course, we're going to be going Rec. 7 and 9. We're not doing HDR uh, for the trailer. Um, and then we've got the actual color panel on DaVinci and we're going to see a couple of shots starting with this one, the beach shot. So this shot is fully graded. As you can see, it has got a very Rogue One look to it. It's very cold, a bit bleak. Um, and actually, when you see in a minute it disables the grade, the actual out of camera look wasn't too far off, actually. Um, we were quite lucky with the location and the lighting and that. It didn't actually require too much work in order to get it to this point. Um, so let's take a look at the original. So there's the original. As you can see, it's not, it's not hugely different. Um, obviously, a lot of work has gone in to make it look a little bit better, but we, I think we did quite well on the day. Um, so we can see here that the color temperature has been dropped and the tint, we've increased the tint as well to uh, just bring the look into this this area that we are really happy with. So he's just, there we go, that's, that's what it would have been without that color temperature drop and without that tint, as you see, it's just not, not very nice, really. Okay, so the first thing he did, so you can see he's enabled this first node, is he adjusted the luminance of the offset. So the offset is basically um, your entire image. Com it combines your lift, gamma, and gain into one sort of smooth uh, color wheel. Node 2 here is giving us a hue versus saturation curve. So what he's doing is he's just desaturating um, our midtones. So obviously we've got our shadows here, we've got our midtones, and we've got our highlights. And what he's doing is he's just desaturating those midtones um, to give us a more, again, cold, bleak look. Okay, so the next node, which is just labeled green, not entirely sure what this node does, um, but I'm sure it does something super important, of course. Um, and then we get to the seventh node, which is going to be our contrast node. And you can see that makes a huge difference to the actual overall look. I mean, we go we go from this to this. Um, so we're pumping a lot more contrast in there, getting a lot more detail back. So yeah, there we have the final output image. So this is what the grade will look like when you see the trailer in July. Um, we're very happy with it. But this is just one shot. We're going to jump into another shot now, which is at a different location, and it requires a slightly more complicated approach so here we have our next shot and this is actually one of my personal favorite shots in the trailer um so this one is much more similar to the earlier shots of rogue one on the that muddy sort of grassy swamp planet we begin the film on um so what we can see here is that we have our we have obviously all of our nodes here and we've got our basic corrections here but then we've also got a correction specific to our the face and the lightsaber and we're going to take a look at what that actually means in a second Okay, so let's take a look at the first stage of our grade. So we're going to turn the whole grade off, which is going to give us our before image. So you can see how that looks there. Not too bad. Um, but if we set the color temperature and the tint back to default, you can see how horrible that looks. Obviously, the green is just all... The skin tones are completely wrong. The, the you know, the green of the lightsaber reflecting just looks wrong. Obviously, this is not how it was shot, but um, you can see if it was set to 5600 Kelvin, how it would look. Um, so of course we drop that tint right down, uh, the color temperature rather, and then the tint gets increased as well. Um, so that was the first stage of the grade. Um, of course, when we re-enable that, we can see the difference that that has. Um, and then the second stage is going to be another hue versus saturation curve. So again, if we move that, we can see just our midtones sort of towards the highlights are just desaturated a lot to give us this really gritty look that we've been going for. Now we can't really see what's going on with the with node number three, but what we can see is that um, I think we've just increased our luminance just a little bit um, just to brighten everything up. But this is, so this is now where we get into the face and the lightsaber section. So one of the most common things with color grading is to brighten the subject's face so that it stands out a bit more. Um, and as you can see, this is what we've done here. Now this shot is actually a moving shot. Um, there we go, he's toggling on before and after. You can see it's very subtle, but um, so obviously there's before, there's after. It looks a lot better afterwards, obviously. Um, and it's just what it's doing is making his eyes pop. It's drawing the viewer's attention to his face um, and to his eyes. 
Um, obviously, this shot does actually move if we were to play back the shot properly. So what has to happen as well is that we have to track this power window onto his face. Resolve does it beautifully. It's not particularly difficult. Um, but then what he's also done is the same thing with a lightsaber. So even though our lightsaber is going, this is not a visual effects shot. Um, the lightsaber actually does look pretty good, to be fair. Um, the actual model lightsaber we have does have a very bright glow on it. But obviously that, that whole blade will be replaced in post by a real lightsaber. I say real, but you know what I mean. But this power window that is on the lightsaber is still going to have the same effect. It's still going to help the glow to just push the colors a little bit more intense. It's clipped it a little bit just to make it look a bit more realistic, basically. So you can see now that the whole grade is applied, what we're left with. And it's as you can see, it's a much bigger improvement over the original sort of out of camera footage. It is always a bit easier when you've got a reference to go from. But even if we were to do this, you know, go for our own grade, we would we would have gone for something very similar to this because the film is not going to be an upbeat Star Wars, -y, you know, typical Star Wars film. We want something darker and gritty and the darkest and grittiest Star Wars film is, you know, is Rogue One. And of course, all the other Star Wars films as well, you know, they've been shot on film, so they have a very different look. Uh, we're not shooting on film, we are shooting Red Dragon, so we're going to have a very digital look, just like uh, Rogue One did, and we're going to roll with that, you know, and Rogue One has is, is been a big reference for us because it's very similarly made to how we're going. It's got similar tones, similar style. So this grade just makes sense, and the color grade has absolutely nailed it. Uh, it looks perfect, we were very happy with it, we had no corrections or adjustments for him. So there you have it, that is the colour grade for the trailer for Wrath of the Empire. Stay tuned for its release next month in July. But in the meantime, make sure you follow us on all of our social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, and also subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, or you can also watch the podcast on youtube.com forward slash Wrath of the Empire. And we will see you in the next vlog. Thanks guys, bye.